as J.K. Rowling laid out in Harry Potter, stories are only stories if somebody is willing to listen. And you are the listeners tonight for our wonderful, brave storytellers. Working 43 hour weeks and really needing the food stamps I'm eligible for was not really part of the plan when I graduated from college. I would always look out this window and see this radio beacon flashing in the distance and the stars, and this is the Sputnik era, and I really wanted to be an astronaut. My favorite moments in elementary school were recess and fire drills. Now, those were the only times that we were actually allowed to go outside for some reason at my school. My mother had just lost her job in 2010, and I was having issues getting back into school, you know, dealing with the financial clearance line and the threat of having to pack it up and go home. I wanted to become a sight whisperer. That's like a horse whisperer, but it was someone who fell in love with sights, with the trees and the topography and the water. Uh, and the sun and the wind and the climate of that particular location. And I thought if we could actually let the site whisper to us, our architecture would be brilliant. I was um, 13 years old and I was standing in front of our fridge and my mom had just put up this piece of paper with a list of foods that my dad couldn't eat. Um, he was just diagnosed with chronic kidney disease and they had just come home from the doctor and this was a list the doctor gave him. Meat, beans, eggs, nuts, grains, bananas, milk, cheese, salt, squash, broccoli, carrots, potatoes, and other root vegetables, tomatoes, spinach, okra, beets, artichokes, nuts and seeds, avocados, bananas, dried fruits, papaya, pomegranate, oranges, mangoes, nectarines, honeydew, kiwi, cantaloupe, apricots, and even chocolate. I looked at the list and I thought, what could he eat? So the Court of Ideas really started because young students from the architecture school at CMU and young people in the Hill called the Young Black Organizers were looking for a space of their own. They designed this space and then, without the permission of the property owner, constructed it. I was able to work in two different, very different classrooms. One was an all-girl undergraduate intro to creative writing class. And the other was an all-male writing class at the Allegheny County Jail. Those are very different spaces. <laughs> he looks over at me and he looks at the room and he says, you know what, Mom? This room is clean now. The first thought that ran through my head was that I was so offended. I'm like, what the hell you mean? I clean this room all the time. I am a stay-at-home mom. That's what I do. I clean. And we went into a building that looked like it had been condemned. But sitting near the window on a five-gallon bucket is this man. And he says, welcome to the Millville Library. Everybody's asking questions. Questions like, how do we end inner city violence? How do we uh, stop racism? How do we prevent or close the achievement gap? And I have some very easy answers. I mean, they are so, so, so easy. One thing we can do is pay a mom a just working wage so that she has to work only from nine to five to provide a life for her children. Bottom line, overtime kills kids and communities. It almost killed me. And I think the reason I did all that, I changed my path, was because I didn't want to wait to have the I can write this, I can read this moment with those kids until I had them in a college classroom or jail. It's good to be good to people. It truly is. And secondly, a lot of your setbacks are setups for your comebacks. Maybe I do what I do because I try to do for everyone else what I failed to do for my dad. We could be moved by signs from the universe, but I think we might move together faster and farther if we become the signs from the universe to each other. We all hear about eyes being connection to your soul, and I think windows are the connection to the soul of a building. Although our library's motto is more than a library, an agent for positive change, I became more than a person. I became an agent for positive change. Thank you.